guys, it's been so long since I've had a chance to make a new video. It seems like I've been doing all these fast ones. But now that it's a new year, I'm really excited to be doing some new videos. And I'm going to be doing some in Spanish too. Because we have so many great uh, South American, Latin American, Spanish speaking customers who we're connecting with. And I want to make sure that you get the same love. So I have this beautiful girl in the studio. Say hi. I wish you could see how beautiful her eyes are. You will when I start painting her. And she's the perfect model because I was gifted today with some beautiful bling, like unicorn bling. Um, this was created by both Acacia and Manuela Kaysen. So they are making these beautiful pieces. So I said, I have to. I have beautiful models. I have uh, beautiful bling. I got to put together a design for you guys and hopefully inspire you to create some bling, get crafty, and think of new designs for 2018 because we should always be improving our menu boards and getting better as artists. So if you didn't have a chance to catch my Faba TV class last week or the other day, um, we had a live class with Marcella. Make sure you go in, you go watch it. It's a really good class called Classics with a Twist. So as always, thank you for joining me, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all the support on my YouTube channel. And uh, just stay tuned because 2018 has so much in store. We will be at Kidvention, we will be at Bodicey, we will be at Ace. Um, we are, I'm heading to Holland in a week or two. So it is a busy year and I want to see you and I want to hear from you. So thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you so much to my beautiful model. Let's get started. So first I'm going to take my bling and I'm just going to position it where I want it in the design. And then I'm going to kind of trace it and outline it because before I glue it on, I like to create the design then I glue it on as the last thing, just in case I need to get kind of in those spots. And that helps me to, uh, to position my bling better. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hold it into place. I'm going to pick up my brush with white paint and just give it an outline. Then I take um, an arty cake that has the rose colors. This one is a global fun stroke called Paris. And I just pick up the white and the pink. So what I like to do is uh, make sure that the white is on the edge. So I just load it up really well because I'm going to create uh, roses, like a rose crown around my unicorn bling piece. This bling piece has a rose in the middle of it, so it was my inspiration to add roses to the design. I'm going to start on the side, and I'm going to create the petals for my rose. So I just, using that edge, I let that edge kind of do the work for me. So I make one set of petals, and you let that dry before you go on top of it. So what you do on one side, you'll do on another side. While this side is drying, then I go in to create the second layer on this side. So now you're going to let these dry and we're going to work on the leaves. And before we even do that, we're going to add some eyeshadow using our arty cake over her eyes. Mayo. So I mixed a little bit of metallic white and pink on my sponge and I used that color for the cheeks and then I have them smile, so smile, so that I can just add a little bit of color heading up. So just using my larger brush, I just start in the corner of the eye and then I finish up on the tip. Now, if the color is really strong, you see this is a really hot pink, I like to just blend it out and soften it using a little bit of metallic white. So now I just add a little bit metallic white right on top of this really bright pink on the eyelids just to soften it up. Just like that. So you still have the pretty color, but now it's a little bit softer. So I start off with this V. And then I just press, press, and I lift up to the tip. And from the other side, press, press, and I lift up from the tip. That gives me that nice point. So I'll start off here. And if you have more room, you can always add more leaves or just add some fillers. 
everyone's forehead is a different size. So now you're just going to create some kind of teardrops coming into the corner of the eyes for these bottom hanging leaves. You're see, you'll, you'll see what I do What now. I did is I just made these longer lines and then you create these round little loops to give it more of kind of like an ivy look of a free flowing um, leaf look. And then you can always use that nice edge, that dagger edge to just add any fill in that you want and, um, and create any, any nice lines. Now okay, it's now time to glue our uh, bling piece into place. I like to use the glimmer glue or the prosade. What you do is you just add a layer of glue to the back of your bling and when it goes on, it goes on white. And you need to wait until it turns clear before you stick it on the forehead or else it's just going to fall right off. Okay. So then you just put it right in place and you ask them to lean their head against your fingers so that you're not hurting them. So to finish off, I love, love, love my star stencil. So I'm going to pick up that same sponge that I used to blend her eyes with a little bit of this metallic white. And I'm going to use that star stencil to fill in kind of around her eyes and if you have any extra spaces um, in your crown. So I'm going to take my star stencil and I'm just going to rub in a few stars right there because I think it goes nicely with the design. Just like that. Okay, so in any of those open spaces, I love my little scroll work. Uh, for me, it just adds to the design. Just put them here and there. These are obviously a totally extra step. You don't need to do them, but I love them. For me, it's just that. And then I'll put just a few little dots in the corners of her eyes. Okay. So now is my favorite part. Everybody knows this. I love lipstick and glitter. Um, I love using the Fab Rose Shimmer for lipstick. It's a really pretty color on the lips. Do you like lipstick? Yeah, okay. So open up just a little bit. Say ah. So that I can see her beautiful lips. And I like to put glitter on the lips, especially on the bottom. It keeps it from transferring. So I take my little poofer bottle and I just squirt a little there. So I am going to be using my favorite, my favorite pixie paint. I love festival glitter and pixie paint. Um, I like to apply it using a paint pal little drop brush because it has that round point. So all I'm going to do is just using a dry brush, I pick up some pixie paint and I have her close her eyes and I'm just going to kind of drag it right here to just add a little bit more sparkle and a little bit underneath the unicorn horn right inside of there and then a little bit around here just like that so these are the designs that get you more work. When parents see designs like this, it makes such a difference. There's tons of value added to a face like this. So I want to thank my beautiful model. She is so gorgeous. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I make sure you connect with me on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, if you need me, you know where to find me. Uh, check out my Patreon too. I'm adding some exclusive business content there. Um, I still love sharing on YouTube, but it, YouTube doesn't give me a whole lot of opportunities to kind of connect one-on-one -on -one, talk back and forth like patreon does so definitely check me out there and i hope to see you at one of my many classes on the road this year have a great year everyone happy painting